every single major legal scholar, Jonathan Turley, Greg, Jared, Andy McCarthy, Dershowitz, every single scholar, Mark Levin, the great Mark Levin, had a whole show on it last night, said that this is a disgraceful case. It's a disgrace to the New York state and city court system. And all of the cases are, frankly, all of them are. You probably saw last night that Jack Smith got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. It was released late last night, and it's a big story. The documents case is a hoax created by them for election interference purposes. And so that one looks like it's going asunder. Uh, a brilliant judge uh, saw some facts, and I haven't read what was revealed yet, it just came out. But uh, the document hoax is indeed, it, it is indeed a hoax. The whole thing is a hoax. Every, all of them are hoaxes, including the civil cases. They're controlled by the White House, they're controlled by Democrat judges and prosecutors that were put there specifically. They hate Trump. And the people are getting it. That's why we just came out. A new Emerson poll just was released about two minutes ago. And I'm leading by a lot in every swing state and leading in the general election. And you saw the CNN poll. I'm sure they aren't too happy with it, but the CNN poll was fantastic. So uh, we're here. This is a hoax. This is a judge who's conflicted. Badly, badly, badly conflicted. I've never seen a judge so conflicted. And giving us virtually no rulings. I hear I'm not even allowed to say advice of counsel. This is a new one to me. Advice of counsel. When you have a lawyer and the lawyer does something or advises you on something, you say advice of counsel. He said you're not allowed to say that. And so you'll all figure it out. But I think the public has figured it out because the poll numbers are the highest they've ever been. And I appreciate you treated me, actually, I thought quite fairly, at least the people here, which is a lot of people. And I appreciate that. The Biden protests that are going on are horrible. It's all caused by him, because he doesn't know how to speak. He can't put two sentences together. He's got to get out and make a statement, because the colleges are being overrun in this country. The anti-Semitism, all of the problems going on, they're being overrun. I've never seen anything like it. He said he ran because of Charlottesville. Well, if the people that know Charlottesville, when you extend the statement, it's a big hoax what was what they say was said. And they understand that. And Charlottesville is peanuts compared to what you're looking at now. This whole country is, is up in arms, uh, breaking into colleges, knocking the hell out of Columbia University. I mean, they, they took over. I know the building very well. They took over a building. That is, that is a big deal. And I wonder if what's going to happen to them will be anything comparable to what happened to J6. Because they're doing a lot of destruction, a lot of damages, a lot of people getting hurt very badly. I wonder if that's going to be the same kind of treatment they gave J6. So let's see how that all works out. I think I can give you the answer right now. And that's why people have lost faith in our court system. So the Biden protests are a disaster. And he hasn't even made a statement, because he's not capable of making a statement. I'm still waiting for him to debate. He said on the low, very lowly rated Howard Stern show, he said uh, very strong, oh, I want, to, I want to debate, I want to debate. Well, we haven't seen it. But uh, we would love to debate any time, and I think it's a good time to have a debate, even though it's early. But six months is pretty close. November 5th is going to go down as the most important day in the history of our country, because we're going to turn our country around. Our country is going to hell. It's going to hell. It's very sad to see. But November 5th is going to be the most important day in the history of our country. So I'm going to go into this trial. I'm going to sit in a freezing cold ice box for eight hours, nine hours or so. They took me off the campaign trail. But the good news is my poll numbers are the highest they've ever been. So at least we're getting the word out. And everybody knows this trial is a scam. It's a scam. The judge should be re recused, and he should recuse himself today. It's the most recusable judge I've had. It's called recusal abuse, and he should recuse himself today. And maybe he will. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll do the right thing. But really, more importantly than the recusal, he should terminate the case today. The judge should terminate the case because they have no case. As Jonathan Turley said, as all of them said, every single one of them, Dershowitz, 
McCarthy, everyone, Greg Jarrett, Mark Levin, they all said this case should be ended immediately. This case is over. It should be ended immediately. And many of them are not fans of mine, but they want to do the right thing for the country. So uh, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. And I'm going to go into the icebox now and sit for about eight hours or nine hours. I'd much rather be in Georgia. I'd much rather be in Florida. I'd much rather be in states that are in play, states that, uh, you know, I'd like to be able to campaign. Biden's out campaigning, if you call it campaigning. He can't campaign because every time he opens his mouth, he gets in trouble. But Biden is out campaigning very nicely. I think when I start campaigning, he'll stop. He'll go back into his basement. But I want to thank everybody. You've really been treating me very fair. I want to thank uh, Time Magazine. They did a cover story, which is very nice. And it's actually, uh, there's at least 60%, it's at least 60% correct, which is about all I can ask for. So I want to thank you, everybody. Thank you. Are you going to part of the crowd with the bookkeepers? 